Welcome back to Kelly Party of Two. Chris is not with us tonight because he is duck hunting. So tonight I just wanted to kind of go over one of the desserts that I make that is super, super easy that everybody loves. Now, I will preface that with yes, there are some people that don't like um, apples. <laughs> so if you don't like apples, you may not like this. But I will say there are some things that I, you know, I'm not a fan of apple pie. Um, but this is sort of a apple crisp slash apple duck cake. Um, and so I've been making it for several years and I always get asked for the recipe and I can rattle it off just like that, just because it's that simple. Um, there are several recipes out there for this, but I do mine just a little bit differently. Um, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add to the bottom of a glass dish. You can also use any kind of pan. You can also use a um, cast iron skillet if you want um, to kind of give it better serving um, aesthetic, I guess is the good, a good word. Um, I use caramel apple pie filling. Um, emphasis on caramel. I just think um, it tastes better and has a little bit more flavor than just normal apple. Um, and it does enhance this particular dish. Um, so I, um, we have a price list real close by, so they have this brand. Um, but Duck and Hines also has a brand of caramel apple pie filling. Um, so all you're gonna do is just take each can. Now you're gonna need two 20 ounce cans of the pie filling. I'm gonna open my trash here real quick. Um, and you're just really, I've just got a pan here. Um, I'm having lighting issues and Chris is always my camera guy, so um, bear with me. So I'm just gonna dump out the apples into this pie dish. Okay, so I get out all of this yummy goodness as much as I can. And just scrape out those out. I have a pregnant Labrador standing right next to my trash can waiting waiting for me to stop looking no remy she likes to get in the trash she's she's our counter surfer i don't know if we've mentioned that before but this dog could not get enough food okay so we're just going to spread this out i know that looks like a lot um and the other thing is i've had some people say um they don't like big chunks of apple in either their pie or any kind of really dessert. Um, you can always chop this up. It's not going to hurt anything or change the flavor. Just kind of want to make it. And it is a little bit easier to kind of get it into one layer when it's a little smaller. But it does not have to be perfect, guys. Um, one of the things you'll learn about me is I try and do things the, easy, the, most, the easiest way, I guess I should say. Now, I don't normally add anything to this, but I will tell you, um, there are times where I have added two tablespoons of ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. Now, the only time I really use these is if I can't find um, the caramel apple. Now, I know, caramel versus cinnamon and nutmeg, you're questioning me right now, but it does give it a little bit more flavor. And your next layer is what is gonna actually add to your caramel. Now, I use these. A lot of recipes will say to use the individual caramels that you have to unwrap each one. First of all, I don't want to spend my time unwrapping a million caramels. Two, I don't think it, it melts as well as these caramel bits do. Uh, Walmart has them, Meyer has them, I've seen them at Kroger. Um, so any of those places. And I use the entire bag. And you're just going to put them over the apples. Not an exact science to this at all. I like a lot of caramel in mine. So, just kinda get those around so when they melt, perfect. Okay, so next is I use a butter golden, emphasis on the butter. Um, I just think it um, gives it a, a deeper flavor. Um, I wanted to say rich, but you know, Chris doesn't believe in that word. Um, <laughs> or at least how I use it. So you're just gonna pour that on top of what you already have. And 
then you're just gonna smooth this out as evenly as you possibly can. Or to kind of make it um, as flat or even, I guess is the word I wanna use because the next step is just to pour melted butter over it. Now, you can use pats of butter um, and just place them strategically and evenly over this. I prefer melted butter, um, but you can do it either way. Um, just trying to get it as flat as I can for now. And then you're just gonna take two sticks of uh, butter and get that melted, and then you're just gonna pour over it. Now, it always wants to run, obviously. It's liquid on top of dry. Um, and you can always take a spoon and kind of cover your dryer areas. Um, you can periodically check on it in the oven um, and you can always add or move it around. Um, it often goes to the side, that's why I was trying to get it a little bit more. But like I said, I've been known to kind of move it around as well. So um, we're gonna bake this at 375 for about 45 minutes. Um, my times vary, and I've said this before about my oven, it's old and cranky. Uh, so I will periodically check it, especially after that 45 minutes, to make sure I'm getting that golden brown crispiness on top. Um, I think that makes this dish. Um, but uh, we will come back and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's done. Stay. Hey guys, so I'm back and dessert is ready. So this is that golden color that I was telling you wanted on top. Um, you can mix and match different cake mixes. I've actually um, had, I've done this recipe with a spice cake. Chris said he couldn't tell the difference between the two. I could definitely tell the difference. And the traditional is very much my favorite with just the yellow golden butter um, cake mix. Um, so this is the best dessert ever and the easiest dessert ever to make and take to any party. Um, or event that you might have for the holidays. Um, I actually make this during the summer as, uh, summer as well, um, just if I need something quick to throw together. Um, it really is good. Chris loves him his with um, some vanilla ice cream on top. Um, I've also made it where I've put butter pecan. You can put nuts on this. You can mix in some white chocolate chips. I mean, really you can do a lot with the base recipe but I will tell you the base recipe is the easiest and best dessert that you can make quickly. Um, it's hot. Um, if you don't like pies, it's great to take as an alternative for Thanksgiving. Um, just one of our family's favorites and um, I hope you make it. And if you do or made something similar, let us know in the comments below. And as always, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends about us. Hopefully Chris will be back for our next video. Bye.